The No Fit Channel checking in with a brand new series, Dad's Push Pull Legs Lean Bulk. <laughs> This series is gonna follow me over the course of 120 days as I take on a push-pull legs training program all while in a slight caloric surplus to hopefully gain eight pounds over those 120 days. Now most dads my age at the age of 36 going on 37 wouldn't be trying to do a bulk. In fact, they'd probably be trying to lose weight. But I'm doing this bulk for two reasons. I recently completed um, a 14 mile obstacle course race, the Spartan Beast and um, all that training, all that uh, preparation, and the race itself did a number on my joints. I'm talking knees, shoulders, uh, elbows, etc. It's just, it was just brutal. And I'm hoping that getting back into a regimented, you know, almost typically bodybuilding training program can really take a lot of that stress off of uh, my joints because I'm not going to be doing road work. I'm not going to be doing crazy battle ropes or tire flips and all the stuff that went along with trying to get ready for this Spartan Beast. Now, if you are interested in watching me prepare for, take on, and compete in this, the Vermont Spartan Beast, I'll put a link uh, right up here. Um, I'll put a little card, so if you're interested, you can check that out. Now, the second reason is that over the course of the training for the Spartan Beast, with all the cardio, with all the high-intensity training that I was doing, I lost a lot of weight. Now, typically for the past 10 years, I was right on 185 pounds. I never veered more uh, than one pound in either direction. But because of all this training, because of all the cardio, and because uh, with two children at home, I actually don't have a lot of time to eat. I'm just so busy. Oftentimes, I wasn't eating as much as I usually do. Uh, my weight dipped down to 180 pounds. Now, many people would think, hey, you lost five pounds. What are you complaining about? But in fact, it wasn't like I was shredded. And I looked at myself in the mirror. I didn't look shredded. I didn't look cut. I actually looked skinny fat. I looked pretty pathetic compared to what I know I had looked like uh, in the recent past. Those are the two main reasons that I am doing this lean bulk. As I mentioned, the training program is push, pull, legs, followed by a rest day. Now, to you, that may seem pretty basic and simple. Uh, and the truth is, um, it is basic. It is simple. It is uh, meat and potatoes. It is fundamentals. But the reason is those fundamentals work time and time again. The basic fundamental uh, weightlifting and bodybuilding movements have been proven to work. Nowadays, we see people getting super complicated on Instagram trying to uh, one-up themselves with whether it's training programs or super complicated exercises uh, with the hopes of getting clicks, getting likes. But fundamentals and basics work and they work time and time again. And keeping things simple is a great way to stay on your program. And remember, the best training program and the best diet out there are the ones that you can stick to. Now, I put this training program together myself. However, I did pull from a number of great resources and programs. I'm going to put those up um, right over here. I'll throw a couple photos up here of the, the, the sources, uh, resources that I pulled from. And I would definitely uh, suggest that if you're interested in making your own training program or grabbing someone else's, to check those out. You can't talk about a lean bulk without diving into the calories and the nutrition. I am targeting to start with at least 3,500 calories per day. Now, where did I get that? First, I calculated um, the number of calories that my body needs in order to maintain its daily weight of 180 pounds. Um, there are a number of calculators online that can do this, and I do mean a number of calculators. There's apps for your phone. I happen to use um, macronutrientcalculator.com. Um, it just happened to be one that I used. I thought the program was pretty good. And so you put in your age, you put in your current weight, your height, and your uh, daily physical activity. And they pop out the number of calories that your body needs to have per day on average so that your weight stays the same. Um, and in my case, that was 3,250 calories. So with that basic borderline number of calories that I need to maintain that weight, I then went and added 250 calories so that I should be, um, at least by this calculator, in a caloric surplus. In terms of breakdowns uh, for macronutrients, for those of you who like to do, uh, if it fits your macros, that's 50% carbs, 30% protein, and 20% fat. 
My primary goal when it comes to this diet is to hit that calorie mark every day. So to start, that's 3,500 calories. My secondary goal is to try to come as close to those macros as possible. For you busy folks out there, especially if you're a dad, it's probably going to be darn near impossible to hit those macros on the nose every day. I'm going to just shoot to get as close as possible, but again, the primary focus is going to be on those calories. Now, when am I going to know to go up in calories? Because obviously, as my body gains weight, those 3,500 calories are not going to be enough to push my body to gain more weight. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty much a yes, no situation. Every week, um, if my average weekly weight gain is a half a pound, I'm going to maintain the calories. So if it's a half a pound or more, I'm going to maintain the calories because those calories that I have are enough to keep my body increasing weight. If the average weight gain is less than half a pound, then I will increase those calories by 250 calories. Now notice I said average weight. So what I'm going to be doing every morning is weighing myself at the same time. As soon as I wake up fasted, just step on the same scale, take an average weight across those seven days. And the reason is your body weight can fluctuate a few pounds depending on how much water you're holding or when you last ate. And the idea is we want to be as, as exact as possible with regards to how accurate your body weight is. So it's an average weight that we're going to be calculating at the end of the seven days that's going to determine if we go up in calories or if we stay the same. So what separates this bulk from the ones that I've done in the past? At the age of almost 37, you know I've done a bunch of bulks earlier in my life. Well, the truth is those were just, you know, bro science bulks. I would eat a ton of food, lift heavy, and, you know, get on the scale. But the truth is almost all of that weight would end up on my stomach. And I looked like I almost had a beer belly um, and it wasn't flattering. I didn't actually look any better and I certainly didn't look any bigger except around my stomach. This time, not only am I gonna be focusing on um, lean, healthy food rather than just eating donuts and cheesecake, I'm also gonna be doing tracking. I'm gonna be tracking everything, most importantly, calories and macros, and I'm gonna be using MyFitnessPal. It's an application on your phone. I had used it in the past about four years ago and it was cumbersome, it was awkward, it was a nuisance. The new one, um, or the updated one, I should say, is super easy to use. It's a free version. There's a barcoding scanner that allows you to just scan the food that you're eating uh, if you do have the package with you, and it saves all of your most recent foods. So if you're like me and you often eat the same thing all the time, it's a super easy and it's a no-brainer. It tells you how many calories and how many macros you have left to eat in the day. It's, it dumbs it down so much for you that it's, it's almost there's no almost no reason not to use it by tracking my calories and my average weight, I have specific set instructions on how and when to increase those calories. It's no longer gonna be bro science. I'm not just gonna be throwing down a bunch of food and hoping to see results. The idea is to put on weight and put it on in a slow fashion to minimize the amount of fat that I put it on and hopefully keep uh, any of the extra weight from not necessarily just adding to my stomach, but actually adding to my frame. I'm not just gonna be tracking calories and macros and my average weight. I'm gonna be tracking everything, all my measurements. So stomach, waist, arms, legs, calves, as well as my body fat percentage. I'm also gonna be doing 30-day physique check-ins because oftentimes when you do these bulks, it's hard to know how far you've come because you never have a photo or a video of where you started. So every 30 days, as, uh, as ugly and as difficult as it may seem, I'm gonna take off my shirt and do a physique check-in on camera, and that will allow me to do side-by-side -side comparisons. So I'll be doing the same uh, poses, the same stances, and wearing the same shorts, and I'm actually gonna even do it in the same room to have the same lighting. So apples to apples comparison over those 120 days. What gets measured gets managed, and by tracking all of those measurements and having very specific instructions every week on when to increase calories, um, there's going to be a high level of accountability, not only from this program, but also from you watching this at home. I know you're going to keep me honest and you're going to call me out if you see me slipping at all. Now, in terms of those physique check-ins, I have to do an initial check-in. It's not going to be pretty. So if there are small children in the room, tell them to leave because some things can't be unseen. All right, let's jump in. As ugly as it may seem, let's just pull that band-aid off. I'm not a writer. Okay.
That was even hard for me to watch. Okay, we're through it. Hopefully in 30 days, uh, the next one's gonna seem a lot better, at least compared to the first one. Now, why should you subscribe to this channel and watch this series? Well, every week I'm gonna put out two videos. One is gonna be a full day of eating. I'm gonna take you through everything I eat, track my calories, track my macros, and post them as we go. And the other video is gonna be, every week, is gonna be a full day of training. I'm gonna take you through the training program, um, soup to nuts start to finish and it's simple as that and every 30 days you're going to get a physique check-in again as ugly as it may be but you need to put the physique check-ins there for accountability and hopefully you guys at home you dads can keep me honest let me know if i'm actually making an improvement or if i'm just fooling myself i want to know what your fitness and nutrition goals are over the next 120 days let me know in the comments below now if you've come this far in the video then you definitely know what to do give it a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.